fifteen. Add them to the other puppies we've already stolen, and I have my cozy puppy coat. <laughs> I'll be wearing Anita's dogs. <laughs> y'all like oh you just came through yes I did yes I did yes I did girl I even went so far I got the nails just because I had to make it a moment so I hope you guys really enjoyed my intro um so a little backstory my hair is from supernova on Aliexpress and I'm gonna tell y'all right now they get a 10 out of 10 because this hair did not come like this so we're gonna talk so I was watching I don't remember and I just had the urge to want to do something Cruella DeVille inspired and then I realized that 102 Dalmatians was actually on so I watched it I don't think I've ever watched it um, I've always seen the preview from it but I've never actually watched the movie so I watched it and actually it was very interesting because Cruella's the second like the first one was great but her wardrobe in the second one was everything. So I was thinking, what if Cruella DeVille had a daughter? She messed around with a villain who happened to be black. And then her daughter loved Lil' Kim. Kimberly DeVille. Look at God. So, if you guys remember in The Rain, Kim had on a... She had on these red shorts. And this is actually a skirt. This is not show up. Um, and then she had a tight up shirt and then she had this Chanel suspenders on. So I had to go and redo this look. I added these quilted gloves because they have like a Chanel feel to them to go with my hair. And my contacts are my Solilica, Solitica. I think these are my, oh Lord. I'll put them below. I don't remember. I'll put them right here. Um, I got them from Lens.me, by the way. So to my hair so i had the urge to say i want some black and white hair why not so i got this hair from supernova hair which was back in i want to say december i think so and um and you guys know in a recent video i had showed you guys this hair and then i it was like that's what we're gonna do um and then i knew i was gonna curl it it wasn't gonna stay straight it is four bundles of 28 inches okay and then of course I cut it because I had to put some layers in it. Um, and then they sent me a 20 inch frontal as well. So all of this was this color. This is all the, hold on. So this side is the original, this is still the virgin side, okay? This is the process side. So what I did was I took it, I bleached it one time, one time. And it legit went from this to this. And I was shocked. And this is when I started using that quick blue bleach. The first time. I was like. Oh my god. It's going to be so crunchy. I rinsed it. It was super duper smooth. It was so soft after I rinsed it. And I was waiting for like a super deep condition. So what I did was. I have this shampoo and conditioner from Magic Hair Company. That I've been using. And I'm totally obsessed. I'll show you guys use these are the magic hair company smooth perfection keratin shampoo and this is the bottle and this is what it looks like and then this is the smooth rich conditioner and as you can see it's almost gone but i use these two just on this hair alone and i'm gonna tell you right now it saved this hair because the hair itself and it's coming off yellow on camera which i'm really upset about because it actually in person it looks more of this color it's more like a grayish color so what I went ahead and did was I constructed the entire wig and then I split it. I went ahead and was very careful with the parting on this puppy. And I parted it all the way down here to the middle, separated everything. I pinned one side off and I only put bleach on one side. And I let the bleach sit for 40 minutes, okay, 40 minutes. 
when the 40 minutes was up I rinsed it and I ended up with this color well I ended up with a 613 color then once the 613 color deposited I went and I went over it with my I think it's like rustic or ru I don't I forgot it's the same color I use for my gray hair um I put that shampoo on there I, you know I used my purple shampoo I did that what ended, up, what ended up happening was I did not lather it all together. So now my hair is a little bit on the lavender side as opposed to it all being blonde. So it's still 613 in here. It's still like a little lavender. Then I got a little gray. It's, it's a lot going on. However, it did actually turn out once I curled it, I really did like it. But what I would do different next time, because I'm doing this again. Um, what I would do different this time than I would do next time is the fact that I would do this with already pre-treated 613 hair. So if I'm going to make the wig, I would just do one side. I would just keep going from side to side. So I'll do half you know a 1b and then do the half 613 half 1b six. the only thing that you have to do was do your frontal and your frontal would be very simple to do but it would just save you a lot of time it would save you a lot of mistakes it would save you because what ended up happening was i had to go back just for the roots not all of the hair just for the roots in the back to make sure that where the weft is so if the weft is here you can't tell with these damn nails but if this is the weft then I had about this much of new growth that were was still black. So I had to go back and re-bleach that so that everything would still be one blonde color on one side as opposed to this side. So once I did that, I went ahead and curled it. And I left these flexi rods that was in my hair in for a whole week. <laughs> so these, these ain't going to drop no time soon. And then what I did with my makeup is I did, of course, the contacts. I did a lot more gray up in here. I did my eyebrows jet black. Um, as you can see, I wanted them to look a little bit more cartoonish, like how Cruella's is, but I still wanted it to be a wearable look if it was a, let's just say it was a party or something that you was going to, or you would just wanted to do this for, you know, fun. And then what you could do if you want to, you could just pull some blonde on this side and then pull some black on this side if you just want to be different, which I ain't trying to do. That was a pure accident. Um... And then I just, when I took it out, I just put, I just grabbed it like this, put some hairspray, and then ba-boom. So, overall, the fact that I was able to bleach this hair, well, twice, technically, um, and I still got this beautiful hair that is not crunchy, that's still curled, still holds a curl, is amazing. Supernova hair, they have been very patient, very respectful, they let me be creative. You get what I'm saying? And a lot of times companies don't want you to be creative. Don't do it this color. Don't do it that color. Don't do this. Don't do this. And it's like, how am I supposed to show you guys what I can do with something if they won't even let me do it? So they was like, hey, do what you want as much time as you need. Let us know. And I want to thank them for that because it gave me a chance to really put this hair to the test. And I can tell you, there's a lot of people that I review for that probably are great at 1B and we would be good. But this, this? It probably would have burnt in shambles. I would have said, okay, well, I only have half of the head because the other side fell off. But um, I did use the Quick Blue Bleach by L'Oreal. I used that and I used 40 um, Volume Developer in order to lift this hair. And the fact that it lifted and I, I'm still shocked. I, I'm, I am still shocked. I remember my little sister was like, you lying. It, I said, I swear to you one application and it came out just like this like let me get a close-up y'all like yes okay it's still bouncy it still moves it still has body it's not crunchy it's not dry it's not over processed it's perfect Especially because I was going for this particular look. I wanted something that was a wearable look, but it was still hip-hop. It was still something that you know. It was still, everybody knows Cruella. And what I did different from Cruella with this, if I felt like if Cruella had a daughter and she was trying to like go on with her mom's legacy, let's just say, and she wanted to do like the House of DeVille, Cruella's hair is usually white on this side and black on this side. So I purposely put it in the opposite because I feel like her daughter would be a bit of a rebel. She's like, I want to carry on my mom's legacy, 
but I don't want to do it exactly like her. I'm not exactly the same, but a vast difference, okay? Just saying. So, if you guys are interested in some hair and supernova hair, and it flat irons very well. If you guys seen in that video, the flow was crazy. Um, so, it did take me a while to actually get these flexi rods in so that every single piece of hair would be bouncy when I took it out. And, baby, I took these out. It is now, I think, 2 o'clock in the morning. Los Angeles time. I took these out at 2 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. And my hair still looks like this. And yes, I did go out. I, I wasn't painted like this, though. I wasn't crazy. Um, it was very, like, demure. And this is me pulling at it and, you know, wearing it. I'm still good. So, if you guys like this look, make sure you guys thumbs up this video. I'm trying to do more themed looks. And in the month of... Um, April, May, and June, I'll have a lot more time to do more stuff like this. So if you guys have any suggestions on any characters that I can kind of, I want to do hybrid. So this was like Little Kim and Cruella DeVille. So who else could I do? Like, I don't know, like Barney, let's see, like Barney and Missy. I don't know what that would look like, but it sounds fun, right? It's, it's a finger waves involved. So if you guys are interested in this look and and, uh, and you want to know how I created this look, which was not very hard. If you guys are interested in any of this look, the nails, anything, put them below because I would like to do a video if you guys are interested on how I created this particular look. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace. Cheerio, darling.